Hey there, welcome to another Filestack demonstration video. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be diving into some of our security usage and how to properly initialize it. But let's not jump into the code just yet. Let's go down to our security builder, which we have located in your developer portal. You'll notice one of the first things is our calls selection. These will be the permissions that you're allowing your users to use with your API key that you have your security enabled on. First, selecting the pick method, which will allow you to upload, the read, allowing you to see files, and then the store method, allowing you to store them, you notice that I'll have the beginnings of a Base64 encoded policy down here. This is what we're going to need to plug in to the actual code, as well as the signature that will be generated with it. However, I'm not quite ready yet. We'll need our expiry, or otherwise this will not function as intended. Setting an expiry to Saturday at 1.30, I'll go down here, and I'll have the completed policy and signature. The signature is actually generated when using an HMAC algorithm against your app secret. Please do not give out your app secret for security purposes, as this is what is keeping the security on your account tight and locked for you. I'm going to go ahead and grab a pre-baked example here of initializing security on my account and go back to our getting started page to show you how this would work. So, pasting this here, I have my API key followed by a security object that holds the policy and signature. So let's go ahead and upload a photo of this dog. And let's see how this works out. So you'll see I'm given back a regular CDN URL which is not viewable without a policy and signature. So I'll need to add those in. Going back and getting the policy first that we had used and placing that here and then gaining the signature we used and placing that here you'll see our file is uploaded. We appreciate all of you watching this quick introduction on how to use some of your security. There are more advanced features that we have in our documentation and we have plenty of other features surrounding them that we have detailed throughout our developer portal as well. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'd be happy to help you in answering any of those questions that you may have. Thanks and we'll see y'all next time.